Confessions 30 For all the differences between them, there is truth in each of these opinions. May this truth give birth to harmony, and may the Lord our God have pity on us, so that we may apply the law legitimately, that is, to the end prescribed in the commandment, which is charity undefiled. The same precept of charity obliges me, if I am asked which of these opinions was held by Moses your servant, to admit that I do not know. If I did not confess this to you, O Lord, these words that I write would not be my confessions. But I do know that all these opinions are consistent with the truth, except those childlike beliefs of which I have already said as much as I thought fit to say. Nevertheless, those who hold such beliefs are children of good promise. They are not deterred from accepting the message of your book, which reveals its mysteries in language simple enough for them to grasp and tell so much in so few words. As for the rest of us who all, as I admit, see true meanings in those words and explain them accordingly, let us love one another. And if our thirst is not for vanity, but for the truth, let us likewise love you, our God, who are the source from which it flows. Let us also honour Moses, your servant, who delivered your scriptures to us and was filled with your spirit by believing that when he wrote those words, by your inspiration, his thoughts were directed to whichever meaning sheds the fullest light of truth and enables us to reap the greatest profit.